Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a love reading for you guys. We're going to be seeing who is your soulmate. So we have four groups here. I'm also going to be doing some sound healing for the first few minutes of this video. So if you want to stay for the sound healing, you're welcome to. I've got my sound bowl, we're going to do some sound healing. So I feel like we just need to kind of get chill and relax and it helps us kind of decide what what cards you want to choose. So if you prefer to do the sound healing first and then choose the cards, that's completely up to you. So I'm going to show you the cards first. So we have group number one with the lizard, group number two with the wolf, group number three with the firefly and group number four with the snake. So these are going to be the groups today. This is going to be your love soulmate reading. We're going to see who is your soulmate and we're going to go into nice detail. We're going to see what your love life has been up to until now and we're going to give you some love advice as well. So please choose your group and let's get started. So I'm going to do my sound healing first and then we're going to go into the reading. So if you're interested in just the cards, all the timestamps as usual are down below. So thank you so much and let's get started. So let's do some sound healing, guys. So I have my little sound bowl. I'm not a professional at all. <laughs> so it's not gonna sound absolutely perfect, but I'm gonna try and have it away from my mic. And I'm gonna put the intention that anyone watching this video is going to have a really relaxing day, night, evening, morning, whatever you're doing, and to heal anything that is bothering you right now. Okay, so I feel relaxed. I don't know about you guys, so I really hope you enjoyed the sound healing and let's get started with your reading. Hello, group number one. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Let's see who your soulmate is and let's get you some love advice. So, so the card that you chose was the lizard. So this is the intention. When I chose this card, I wanted to put out the intention that this would be your energy. So this is the energy that you're kind of giving off right now. We also have the lion and the elephant. So I chose one card would be your energy and the other card is your person's energy who you are drawing in. This is going to be a long-term relationship. This is somebody who you want, who is going to be really the best person for you. So this is going to be your person. We have lion and the elephant, which is absolutely beautiful. So this is a really, really calm, proud, beautiful energy. So first of all, let's get into those cards first. So I feel like with the lizard and your energy, sometimes you feel like it can get too hard for you, especially in your love life. Sometimes you can't stand the heat, which is you, you take it as that resonates. So it can be to do with you kind of feeling restricted in your love life. Things are kind of just really hard for you and you kind of have trouble adapting to situations. And I'm picking up a lot of Gemini energy from this group. So if you're a Gemini or like a Capricorn, Libra, I feel like that, that's the kind of energy that I'm getting. I'm doing this like I'm smelling it like, <laughs> mm. <laughs> now that's what I'm picking up on. So I feel like with the lizard, they are, I mean, I'm, I'm actually picking up on a gecko and I think it's because there's so many colors and geckos are really good at adapting. So I feel like you're either really good at adapting or you're learning to adapt in your love life in terms of, 
I feel like for some of you, you may have kind of been in relationships where they weren't good for you and you felt the need to kind of conform and adapt because you felt like maybe there wasn't anybody else or maybe you think there wasn't going to be anybody else for you. No one was going to come into your life sort of thing. So I feel like for you, what's really important is for you to really understand who you are and understand that you have value and that you have things to give for your, to your love life and to yourself. And the best thing for you to do is understand all those different layers and geckos, is it geckos? Is some sort of animal that that blends in with our environment. I can't remember what exactly exact reptile it is, but I feel like any sort of reptile is cold blooded and they're normally in a very hot, hot country. So you could be in a hot country. This is your energy. So I feel like you're waiting in that hot energy, kind of like waiting for your person. So things could be quite dramatic right now. You could be in a relationship that you're really not happy in. And it's like, it's kind of like how much heat can I withstand until I have to withdraw and go into my rock into hermit mode, whatever it is that you need to do to kind of get away from this energy. And I feel like you're learning to just adapt and kind of go through this energy. I oh, iguana. Oh my God, I'm getting so many reptiles. Not the reptile that is, is it a chameleon? I'm getting chameleon. So maybe it's chameleon. I heard, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, chameleon. <laughs> I don't know if that song is actually relevant, but if you've been picking up on that song, then that's relevant to you. I'm also hearing London... London, like London Bridge, like the song, London Bridge is falling down, that song, like the nursery rhyme, and also the, the, the really ratchet um, one that Fergie sings, <laughs> the London Bridge song. So that's your energy I feel like right now. I feel like you're now starting to understand your different layers of yourself and, and what it is that you need and what it is that's gonna suit you. So it's kind of like when you have certain colors that suit you and certain colors don't with what you're wearing. I feel like that's kind of what you're doing, but in your love life, you're kind of figuring out who suits you, who is your main partner, and what can you do to kind of get there. So the person that you are going to manifest is absolutely beautiful. I feel like this person is so stunning. Their energy is just so full of heartfelt energy, very loving, very fiery, probably most likely a Leo Sagittarius or Aries. I feel like getting quite strong earth vibes as well. Um, I'm feeling like more Leo, Taurus, like fixed sign vibes as well. Could be a, any sort of fixed sign. But I feel like this person's really drawn to you. Like as soon as you find this person, I feel like you may be feeling really lost as well. I feel like lizards compared to lizard and elephants, like they're a really big size difference. And sometimes obviously when you get like a, a smaller animal and a larger animal, normally that animal is like eaten or whatever in the wild. So it can feel like quite possibly daunting when you meet this person because you feel like maybe they're better than you or maybe they have more experience than you but actually you will have a lot of experience but in your own way so just because you don't have as much experience as them maybe you you not maybe you will definitely have experience to give this person and there's definitely going to be a lot of sexual tension with this person so I feel like you're going to meet this person in a place where you're not able to do that so you're not able to actually feel those things so possibly a school college work it feels somewhere to do with having to be a certain way. It feels like you're the sort of person that is emer in the emergency services. You're going into people's houses and you're taking <clears throat> people into hospital. It feels like that. Uh, that could be your job. That could be what you want to do. That could be your person's job. It just feels like something to do with them. I'm hearing emergency services. So it could be fire brigade. It could be a doctor. It could be a vet. It could literally be a dentist. It, like, anything where there's some sort of emergency, that's where you come in. So I feel like that's possibly how you meet this person. It kind of feels like your person's in a rut, like a really confusing energy. And you're like, I don't know. They're like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. And you're like, okay, let's sort this out. And it feels more to do with like, you have like a certain way of doing it. It could be in your, your accounts like It feels like you're sorting this person's situation out. You're not healing them or anything, but it feels very healthy. It feels like your job is helping them with what they need help with essentially. So I feel like this person has a very strong fire. I feel like they work from their solar plexus and their sacral chakra, which is very, very strong. It feels very potent, very grounded, but also extremely sexual. It feels great. It feels absolutely beautiful. So let's see more about your person. So the next card out we have is Unikite, live in the now. So in terms of your love life, you could have been feeling really, really kind of uncomfortable with um, everything that you've got going on. You could be just kind of like, okay, where is my person? Where is my person? You could have also gone through quite a bit of health issues, physically or mentally. Unikai is really, really good for physical health, just to let you guys know. Obviously, I'm not a health practitioner, but if you feel like you need some sort of crystal to help you, this is a really good crystal to go for. Um, I feel like you guys really need to live in the present and I feel that's a very strong message for you. I mean, it is really, really hard, especially when you want something, but the more you want it, the more it's going to go away from you. It's kind of like 
holding something in like a cage and the more you put something in a cage the more it wants to escape right so i feel like the best thing for you to do is kind of live in the now live in what's going on right now and even if it's not that comfortable work with it you know because you are living you know you need to live with what you have right now because then you're not appreciating your own life you know you need to appreciate what you're going through and make your life as fun as possible like do something that you haven't done before eat some food that you've never eaten before maybe wear something different you know mix it up maybe mix like your wardrobe maybe wear like a hat or a scarf that you wouldn't normally wear, something like that. Even like small things will really kind of bring you out of that rut, okay? So the next card out we have is <laughs> the numinous mystery. So literally your person is gonna be an absolute mystery to you. It feels like you think your love life is a mystery as well. It's kind of like, I have no idea who this person is and that's great because that means it's endless, basically endless possibilities for your person and who they are, okay? So let's get some more cards. We have the river gnosis and eros so this is the river we have like three cards you guys have got quite a few cards today we have the river we have genosis and we also have eros so this card seems to be coming out quite a bit that and genosis so these two cards are coming out like the most so I feel like for you guys, what's really important is for you to just keep working through these energies. A lot of it is self-reflection. A lot of it is stuff that's coming up. And this is very, very normal. Like the energy right now is literally things coming up. If my ears really red, it's because when I channel, my ears get hot sometimes. and I do have earrings in, so just ignore that. Um, I feel like for you guys, there's definitely energy of I want to go forward, I want to go forward. But actually the universe is like, okay, you need to slow down because there's things that you haven't processed yet that are ready to come up and you may be feeling it you may be having arguments with your parents your family whoever you live with you may just be even having arguments with yourself but it feels like there's so much self-reflection going on that this is meant to come up and there's so many like jewels within this it's like the diamond in the rough kind of situation i feel like for some of you guys i feel like aladdin is a really big synchronicity for you guys so it could be um arabia it could be uh people with dark hair i mean you could have dark hair they could have dark hair your person um, it could be the language, it could be a hot country, just in general, it could be the actual film, it could be the set of songs there. I'm hearing Arabian Nights as a really strong message for you guys, and my legs just did a massive tingle. So I feel like that's a really big, strong message for you guys. It's kind of like you're finding yourself, and I feel like Aladdin in that film was almost just finding himself because he, oh, I get it. I get it. It's kind of like because he was pretending to be somebody else to try and fit Jasmine's like, you know, because obviously he wasn't a prince. That is kind of, I feel like what you're doing is you feel like you need to be this type of way, this certain person to attract your person and you don't have to do that. So I feel like your person is going through the very similar energy. I feel like your person is really learning to actually come out of the ego and learn to be more, I'm hearing sophisticated. It kind of feels more like they're learning to be more earthy and down to earth and more emotional and in the in the moment which i feel like that's what you're doing as well there's definitely an energy of this person's very wise very old soul very mature as well i feel like they could have been really immature when they were younger so if they're about 16 now and you're meeting them when you're 16 i feel like they could still be a little bit immature i feel like when they i think their maturity kind of came in possibly a few years before you met them but i feel like if they're a teenager i feel like they're most likely still going to have that maturity but i think that will suit you on the same level because I feel like you like the childlike kind of energy but for some of you guys I feel like you're definitely manifesting someone who's very very mature uh, but if you want someone more childlike I feel like you are going to get that so whatever your preference is that I feel like is what you're going to get the universe is definitely granting you your wishes so don't dismay they're saying don't dismay so we're going to get some tarot and we're going to see what wants to come up about your person. Got the lovers. I love that. So you guys are definitely meeting your soulmate through a death and rebirth process. So whatever you're going through right now it is meant to happen. Your person is most likely going to have dark hair. They could have dreadlocks as well. They could be a skater boy, a skater girl, that kind of thing. I feel like they're very indie. Like they don't look like everyone else. They like have a very interesting sense of style. Like when I say interesting, their style could literally be from one end to the other. It could be emo goth to hippy dippy to girly girly you know like obviously depending on the preference of the person and the gender and things like that but it feels like they have a very good sense of style like you'll see that this person is, is their own personality they don't conform to anyone else and there's definitely a brand new start with you guys brand new start and it's just so 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 beautiful and i feel like you may be in two minds right now i feel like we have to have the two of pentacles right next to the lovers we have the two and then we have the six and then we have the 13 so it's almost like your work situation you're possibly going through or a little bit of kind of like i don't know what where to go it's like two 
parts of you or to situations it could be externally or internally that you're really debating on right now and the next card out is the lovers so this energy right here is going to bring you towards your person it's going to help you to understand what path to go on so whatever you choose will be the right one because that's where you want to meet your person definitely feels like around um, here in christmas time that you may meet your person as well around the end of the year so if this is if you're watching this um you know not at that time i feel like it's going to be around winter months in, in your country and around kind of like the end of the year like capricorn season obviously that's going to be different for everyone but it feels like this person is so earthy like they might even be a capricorn themselves but they're so spiritual like i love this card where it has the beautiful macabre between both of the people like you can see how I mean, you can't see right now, focus. Like I love this kind of energy here where you can see this beautiful shape between both their third eyes. So it's almost like the more spiritual you become in terms of enlightenment, in terms of awareness, in terms of just even going more into the spiritual community, that is bringing you two together because the awareness is like heightening everything. And I'm getting so hot. I'm gonna get this a lot in these readings because every time I talk about soulmates meeting, I get so incredibly hot. So you guys will definitely be feeling that. Whoa, I'm getting massive heat waves, okay. Okay, so we have the death and rebirth and the six of cups. This person is your soulmate 100%. They are definitely somebody you've known in a past life. You have definitely had children with this person already in the past life and had a house, had everything pretty much. I feel like one of you guys in particular I'm talking to, I feel like one of you guys could have had a, a past life in... Um, I'm not entirely sure of the, the timing, but it feels like you were definitely in a tribe, I'm feeling. That's only for some of you, but it feels like a tribe in India, I'm sensing. Um, yeah, and it's very, it's very beautiful. Like it's, it's, a, it's a definite energy of like, I really, really like you. It's like completely, completely compatible, like on every level. So we also have the Two of Cups, which is showing me just, oh my God, guys, this, this reading is just so beautiful just ultimate fulfillment, ultimate coming together, just feeling really, really beautiful. And through this energy, you're gonna feel really empowered because you're one, you're getting what you want. And two, it's just, you're so ready for this relationship because you're so in there. I feel like some of you guys could look like this uh, beautiful woman as well. Um, I just feel like I love the short hair. I feel like some of you guys will have short hair, female or male, whoever you are. Um, but I feel like your person definitely will most likely have dark black hair. I'm really, really sensing that. Obviously, that's not for everyone. I am picking up on blue eyes as well. But I definitely feel like you guys are really search, soul searching right now and searching for your, your person and who you are as well. And I feel like it's a very prominent energy. So that is great. So we're going to have a look and see um, what else we can get from the crystal cards. Let's see what crystals we want for this reading. See what energy wants to come out wow beautiful so i feel like for both of your energies we have the um, honesty and we have commitment it's like both of you are so ready i'm getting like some of you guys are about 23 i'm picking up on that really strongly I'm, I'm picking up on 23 and 43 so i'm really picking up on that that could be also a door number it could be it could be anything as well i'm here it could be your dog in dog ears or something like that i don't know but it feels very prominent. Could it be like a pick up on some of you guys have guinea pigs as well? That's really random. It could be your person has guinea pigs as well. And I'm sensing your person likes walking as well. They love, they love the outdoors. They love the wilderness. They love anything that's kind of, yeah, outdoorsy and where they can walk and kind of just be uh, themselves. And they can really just express their wholeheartedness. This person's very wholehearted. They they literally live from their heart, which is so beautiful, and. Your person is going to be like extremely committed to you. Garnet is such a healthy, a healthy energy. Garnet with with any sort of situation, especially to do with relationships, is so important because I feel like seraphonite puts you in your body, and the same with garnet. So it's kind of like garnet really brings you towards yourself, and therefore is the best a best crystal for attracting love. I mean, rose quartz is as well. Rose quartz is more of a calming crystal, but garnet kind of puts you in your own body instead of say if you're in a love situation relationship and you're kind of focusing more on the other person and not on yourself where you need to focus on yourself this garnet will bring you right into your energy so if you guys are interested in purchasing any crystals to do with garnet or anything like that i have all the information in my shop i have a attracting love kit that has garnet and i can also do a personalized bracelet as well or necklace with said crystal 
So let's get some more um, information. We're going to do the dice. We have Capricorn, we have the North Node and we have the Ninth House. So this person is a big traveller. There's somebody who probably has a lot of sight in their chart. Somebody likes to expand. They love to kind of create and be free. They're not somebody who likes to be caged in. Like I'm saying this person is literally the the word freedom. Like they define the word freedom. I'm hearing in the dictionary, that in the dictionary, there'll be a picture of them. Like, you know, on Wikipedia, it'll be a picture of them with the word um, expansion and freedom because I feel like this person creates that, especially in their work. Like there's somebody who will work with a lot of people abroad, um, whether it be physically or through the internet. And I feel like this person will love to travel. So their, their energy is a lot to do with travel. So it could mean that your energy is a lot to do with travel and therefore that's how you meet. You could meet in a group setting as well where you're both interested in travel. It could be like a singles thing and then you both like travel together. But with the um, Capricorn energy, this person's very, very work driven. So this is somebody who's really, really interested in work and there's somebody who will um, provide for you emotionally, financially and physically as well. That is your reading, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe down below. And if you'd like to book a private reading, all my information is down below with my crystal shop. So thank you so much for watching, guys. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group two. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. So let's get started with your reading. So the first card out we have, obviously, is the wolf. So this card is going to represent your energy right now. So this is your energy right now in love, in just general, in life. So the wolf here is being represented as fire, as, as the earth as well. So I feel like with this energy, you are very determined. Things are literally brewing under the surface for you. So if you feel like nothing's happening in your love life, it doesn't mean it's going to be like that forever. Like literally, there is a fireball underneath your bum. <laughs> That's what I'm sensing. Like it feels like something is being cradled underneath the sacral chakra and it's really just kind of come out. So this can kind of come out in creativity. It can come in the form of a person as well. So it's almost like you both are being magnetized to each other. So this wolf is like the leader of the pack. So you are learning to be a leader. You're learning to assert yourself. You're learning to be the center of attention as well, being seen, learning to kind of create movement, create energy, create flow. So I do definitely feel like this is very, very important. I feel like because you are single right now, you are definitely meant to be single. You are definitely meant to not be around any toxic people. You're meant to be able to clear out the foliage so you can see clearly. So if there's anyone around you that's kind of feeding off your energy and if you thought of somebody right now and you're like, mm, maybe it's them, then just kind of think about it, guys, because I feel like you need to clear out a lot of energy that's not serving you anymore. And if you've already done this, that's amazing because I feel like if you've already done this and you feel like, Vicky, there's like nobody else, I'm done, then that is perfect because there's going to be a blank canvas for you. And you are definitely tuning into your the darkest parts of you, the shadow parts, and also you're tuning into the lighter parts as well. So both the dark and the light, and you're really learning to control that. So I definitely feel that there's an energy of kind of doing both, but it's, it's very, very strong, very, very strong. So the next cards we have out, this is gonna be your person. Oh my God, we have the swan, that is so cute. So the swan here is, I mean, obviously, if you don't know about the swan, the swans are uh, animals that mate for life, okay? And you can see this reflection. So this person is going to be your ultimate relationship. This is gonna be somebody who you've wanted for so long, most likely someone you've probably been manifesting as well, somebody you've wanting just for so long. And this is gonna be somebody who yeah, you've, I, just, I just see like you've envisioned this for so long. So you could be a fire sign wanting a water sign or a water sign wanting a fire sign, either or. You could even more be represented by the swan. It just depends on obviously what you've been going through. And this is a general reading, guys. So whatever resonates with you. It feels like just taking your time with love as well is really important. So just really being calm in your love life is going to really serve you because you don't want to be in a high adrenaline phase where your anxiety is kind of taking over. Whatever that means, you may just be going through quite a lot of conflict um, physically or mentally um, and you're learning to just kind of chill out around it and kind of just flow. Because swans, they don't, I don't feel like they're controlling at all. I feel like they're very much their own, their own dudes, you know, <laughs> their own people. So or do dare, I don't know. <laughs> but it feels like this person that you're connecting to is just so easygoing. And it doesn't mean they're kind of like somebody who doesn't really care. They're somebody who really cares, but they care about their mental health. So there'll be somebody who will meditate a lot and there's somebody who will just constantly reflect on themselves. So they could have quite a lot of Aquarius in their chart as well. Could have some Sag in there as well. And I feel like a little bit of Virgo and Libra, but obviously just take it as it resonates. As I say, it's a general reading. 
I love the connection between two cards because this is very intense and this is very flowy. So I feel like for some of you guys, you could have quite an intense personality in terms of you feel things really deeply. And this person is going to almost calm you down. It could be the opposite as well. You could feel like you're per you are more of the chill one. They're more of the atten intense one. It could, as I say, it varies. So just take it as it resonates. <laughs> okay, so I feel like your person is really learning to exert themselves i feel like they can be a little bit passive sometimes they do have trouble talking about how they feel because they feel like it's not important this person's learning that and you both are, i feel like both of you are learning that as well and i feel like some of you guys for those of you i feel like your partner they're about 30 and up they'll most likely have children i don't feel like if they're younger than that they will have children obviously that obviously you can have children when you're younger obviously but I feel like for what I'm specifically tuning into, I'm specifically tuning in somebody who's 30 and older. So they could be like, you know, 80, 100, I don't know. But they do have a young boy I'm seeing. So this is obviously a very specific message so that's for some of you guys. So they're definitely trying to find their purpose. That is what they're looking for. This swan is like trying to find something. That's what I'm sensing. Very similar to the wolf actually, because I feel like wolves are constantly on the prowl for like their prey or, you know, trying to sort out the pack. So you could be somebody who's sorting out your family, always trying to make sure everybody else is okay, but actually, now you're learning to focus on yourself. And with this person, they may have like a dual personality as well, where they kind of are, I feel like they have two sides to them, where I feel like they're quite calm, but the other side of them is like really intense, but not in a bad way. It feels like they're very passionate, very sensual as well. They're very sensually aggressive as well, in a good way, like a very natural way. It just feels very like a natural way of channeling that sensual energy. Um, and it feels like you're like that as well. So obviously if that doesn't resonate, just take it as it resonates, guys. So next card out is, okay, just drop that, that's great. So the next card out we have is Saturn Wisdom. So this is somebody who's very wise. They've had a lot, a lot of experience, They're a lot. Um, and they're most likely gonna have Earth in their chart. They're very grounding, very responsible, very ambitious. They can be a little bit self-controlling, but I feel like for themselves, I don't feel like they like to control anyone else. I feel they can, they have the ability to, like they will sort them out. Like if they'll be a leader, they are a leader, I feel. Um, I feel like one of you is the leader and one of you isn't. So I feel like one of you is more passive and one of you is more kind of assertive. So whichever you feel you are, then I feel like you're either or. Because I feel like there's some sort of yin-yang balance between the masculine and the feminine. Obviously gender neutral because we all have masculine and feminine in our energy. So this is somebody who probably feels quite contained a lot of the time. There's somebody who loves freedom. So they're not going to be contained with a relationship they probably have this is probably going to be one of their first relationships because i feel like in the past they may have just had very surface level relationships but actually didn't serve them but they could have been very surface level because that felt safe to them because i feel like when they go into a relationship they go hard in a relationship they like really will be committed to you very loyal there we have the warrior beautiful so this is very similar to the wolf energy it's kind of like i've been through hell and back basically so that could be you or your person or both of you actually you both will most likely most likely have this in common um they're, i'm feeling quite strong scorpio energy from this like kind of like the death energy of the animal head and the snake it's kind of like you're finding your purpose or you're finding your core values through the intense transformation so i feel like both of you are going through a very similar energy for some of you guys you could be gay as well i'm sensing obviously you all already know this this isn't a future prediction um but the rainbow kind of reminds me of like you know all all genders all everything like that obviously that just depends on who you are but that kind of was reminding me of like the lgbtq flag i'm also sensing here that there's just so many levels to this person so you might be going through quite a few different levels as well and it could have been really like bringing up a lot of stuff but this is great because this transformation is bringing you towards your person which is keep going okay keep going um i'm also going to suggest citrine for you i feel like citrine is a really really good crystal okay so the next crystal we have well, the next card we have is a crystal card it's a labradorite see the magic so for you guys you could have been quite disheartened in your love life you could have felt like okay well nothing's happening for me so i'm just going to give up and sometimes that is the best energy to go in because then you're kind of like more open but it's also like seeing the magic within yourself as well. Maybe you feel like you're not good enough. Maybe you feel like you're not going to actually attract anyone. That is not true. Okay, I'm looking at you right now. It's not true. Um, you're going to attract somebody who's so right for you. And this Labradorite is making me like, oh, I just tuned into somebody who's very, very spiritual. So, so beautiful. This person is so 
just completely natural like everything's natural about them like their face their hair like everything they just kind of maybe let their hair down maybe tie their hair in a bun maybe you know uh, like a man bun or a girl bun I don't know whatever bun <laughs> all the buns um and I feel like this person is just very natural like they just go with their intuition and they let their intuition lead them and I feel like if they've been struggling with that they would that will be their lesson is to let their intuition lead them because maybe they can be a bit too logical all right so let's get you some tarot cards and let's see what's going on with this person I'm really getting strong Taurus vibes from this person and Aries so just keep that in mind guys and we literally have the Ace of Wands come out. So that's really beautiful. So finding your power and finding what you're passionate about. With Through your passions, you'll find your person. So keep doing what you're passionate about. And if you're like, Vicky, I don't know, I don't know my passion. You just got to take time with it. And it, your passion could literally be your family. You know, you can meet somebody through a family friend. You can meet somebody through, maybe if you've got children, you may find that they're also a parent as well and you bond over like both of you having children it can be like i'm sensing that with dogs as well if you have a dog and they have a dog that's how you're probably meet it's like something mutual that you both have you're connecting over so it can be a hobby it can be like a lifestyle something like that i'm seeing some of you guys can meet at the gym as well so a lot of you guys are going through this energy right now this five of cups here and if you've moved through it i've, I've actually feel like a lot of you guys have moved through it already so if you're still in it that is totally fine. That's what you're meant to be doing right now. But through this, you're going to start to gain more blessings. You're going to gain more financial abundance as well. And through your passion, you'll get more financial abundance. So I feel like this is a definite confirmation that you will find your person through what you're passionate about. And also you have the ability to make money out of what you're passionate about as well. And I'm actually seeing some of you doing Zumba the Zumba like classes, like doing dance classes, Pilates, yoga, that kind of thing, probably meeting them there as well. I'm sensing for some of you guys, if you are a female looking for a male, definitely in that sort of situation, I'm feeling like really strongly. But obviously that's just for whoever that resonates with. So with the six of wands, you are going to be very successful with your partner. Your partner is most likely going to help you get successful as well, or you could be successful and meet your person and they're as successful as you are. It feels like for some of you guys, fame is quite important. So I feel like that's how you're going to meet your person is through fame and through kind of what you're passionate about, what makes you, what lights you up, what makes you feel really, really good. And for some of you guys, you could be very crafty as well. I mean, maybe personally, personality wise as well, but I was sensing more about crafts like creating things and it's cute how we have this as well because I have literally one behind me um I love this card it's so cute so I feel like this person's going to help you with things they're going to help you create your dream they're going to be very passionate about what you're passionate about and they're going to just be really kind of like invested in who you are and I feel like they're just going to be somebody who just creates things with you so if you're self-employed they could be helping you with your work but I feel like they're just going to they're going to help you in ways that you're not able to help yourself. So possibly DIY. If you're not very good at DIY, they could um, just help you with just anything really. That, that I feel like there's definitely a gap that's filled in terms of something that you're possibly not good at. They're really great at it and they're going to help you with it. It feels like sometimes you just need another extra hand to help with something. And that's what they're going to be doing, especially around the house I'm sensing. So the more you work on your masculine and feminine, the more this person is going to come in. The more you work on that internal energy, the more you're going to focus on your person because there's definitely an energy of working on the masculine and the feminine. And the masculine being the most assertive action, orientated part of you, the part of you that, that kind of gets stuff done, the leader. And then the feminine part of you, the caring, nurturing, um, open-hearted part of you. Both the sides are kind of being drawn together and that's how you're going to meet your person. This person's going to feel whatever it is that isn't your path. So say if you're more of a, you see yourself as more of a feminine, they'll be more of a masculine. And if you see yourself as more of a masculine, they'll see them, they'll be a feminine. It's just kind of like whatever you're missing, it'll just, it'll be like puzzle pieces coming together. And obviously you're never really missing anything, but sometimes we, that's why we, that's why we have partnerships. So we can kind of come together and build that relationship together. And that's why I feel like you're doing this Ace of Wands is just so great that this is like, this is like the journey that you're starting. And you're definitely going to get some financial abundance very, very soon. Whether it's to do with your love life or not, just I just see massive financial abundance coming towards you. So let's pour you a crystal card. Let's see what this relationship's all about. Oh, beautiful. I love this. So I was actually going to wear my Moonstone necklace. I'm going to show you guys because I love... Every time this card comes out, I always have to show my Moonstone necklace because I'm so passionate about these ones that I have um, made. If I can... 
hopefully show you guys. So this is the Moonstone necklace. It actually comes with a star as well. That I'm thinking it might be optional. So if you guys don't really like the star, then you, then you don't have to have that on your necklace. So this is the necklace that I have on my shop. I'm very passionate about this necklace because it's just so great. It's like a, just such a great overall crystal. So that's obviously the card that you got today. And you have Labradorite, which is so funny because I literally have two necklaces I am very passionate about, which is a Labradorite one and a Moonstone one. So if you want to check those out, the link is down below. They're, they're very, very powerful. Moonstone is so great, especially if you are, if you see yourself more as a feminine. Obviously, this is for masculines as well. But if you see yourself more as a feminine energy or you're needing feminine energy, this is so perfect because this helps you to assert your feminine power and to just really come into accepting your own self and not judging yourself without just without any judgment. And this is about cycles as well. So you've gone through a huge cycle. A lot of you guys could have been single for 10, 20, 30 years and now you're starting to manifest this person now because now is that time. And I feel like a lot of you guys could have been in quite an abusive relationship, could be physically or mentally. And now you're definitely coming out of that. You're realizing your power. And therefore, when you realize your own power, you don't need anyone else. No one is going to have power over you. And no one ever does have power over you. It just isn't, it can be a mental thing. Obviously, it depends on the situation. But most of the time, we have control pretty much. And it is to do with our emotions and how we assert ourselves. And, okay, so I just rolled the dice. We have Neptune, which I feel like is really relevant to the energy that I'm picking up on. With that Moonstone energy, it's like that very psychic very intuitive energy, very emotional. And funnily enough, we have Pisces as well. So we have the uh, Neptune and we also have Pisces. So those are the ones we had. So I feel like for you guys, this person's post could be a Neptune in Pisces. It could just be a Pisces person. But we also have number one. So this is the first house. So this is who they are. This is the self. This is themselves as they are. So it could be they have Pisces in their first house. It could be that they're just very genuine. They're just very um, Piscean. <laughs> they're very spiritual. They're very open to spirituality. They might not be super, super spiritual, but they're just open to it. And I feel like they like fantasy worlds. They love Harry Potter. They're most likely like Disney or Marvel. They love things that are very just kind of like you can really get your teeth into it. So kind of like poems and things like that. I do definitely feel like this person could also be, I'm hearing erotically sensual, kind of like um, tantric things and things like that. Obviously not everything tantric is sensual. But it feels like they're using that sensual energy to connect with you as well, which is so beautiful. It's very, very natural. I really, really like that. That is your reading, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to, please subscribe to my channel down below. And if you are interested in any of my crystals or crystal jewelry, that will be down below as well. So thank you so much for watching. And if you would like a private reading down below as well, thank you so much. And I'll speak to you very soon. Much love, guys. Bye. Hello, group number three. Thank you so much for being here. Let's talk about your soulmate. <laughs> Let's talk about your love life. Let's talk about your soulmate. So first cut out, obviously, we have the firefly. So this energy here is all about who you are. It's who you are at the core or kind of what you're going through right now. So this energy is definitely finding a light at the end of the tunnel. You guys have been through loads of stuff. You've been through, okay, this really reminds me of Princess and the Frog. So if you've seen Princess and the Frog, you know what I'm talking about. Fight this little firefly, he's in, he's in the bayou, it's, he's in the, the swamp. And it feels like he just wants to like kind of find his dream. He actually wants to find his soulmate and he has a soulmate in the stars. That is literally what I feel like you guys are going through right now. You're kind of like, okay, I've kind of worked on myself now. Like, can I have my soulmate universe? Like, can I have my soulmate? I feel like some of you guys are connecting to an Aries or you're going to attract an Aries. I'm really, really sensing that. It feels like a Taurus as well. Um, I'm also feeling Virgo and Capricorn as well. Um, I feel like this person's very, very stable. So... Firstly about you, I feel like you guys are definitely finding light at the end of the tunnel. I mean, the swamp is a swamp, you know, and I'm getting like a very weird pain in my left knee. So if you guys are getting that too, let me know because I feel like it's a very energetic thing, especially at the moment. It's very random. Um, and it feels like an, an enemy. <laughs> it's not an enemy. It feels like an energy of stability. Like you're coming into stability with who you are. And the firefly is very, very small, but they're extremely fascinating so it's very much like you have so much potential I don't think you're seeing it or maybe you are just seeing it right now or you're really trying to like um show people your potential and what you can do so I feel like with this energy I feel like we're going to get your person now we're going to kind of see what the connection is so we have fire and so that is so cool so we literally have two fiery 
um, animals here. So this is your person here. So we have the firefly and the fire ant. So in this deck, I'm pretty sure the firefly is represented by air and the fire ant is represented by fire. So but we do have two fiery energies. So this could be either or you could represent more of the fire ant. You could be kind of connecting more with the fire ant. It depends obviously on your situation, but it feels like both energies, as you can see, like the fire is like right in the center. So that is what both of you are literally going through right now is you're both finding your center. You're both finding your passion. You're both finding who you are and you're rediscovering who you are and discovering who you are. You know, you could have picked up a new hobby and think, oh my God, I didn't know I was so good at this. <laughs> or you could be creating things and making things and selling them. And people are like, I really love this product. Can you make five, 10, 50 more of these? And you're like, um, yeah, <laughs> because you're like, I love it. And some of you, I feel like a baker's like you bake cakes for a living. I feel like some of you guys could be very passionate about cooking and culinary. Um, something like that is to do with your partner as well. So I feel like if you're not bothered, they will love cooking. Your person will love cooking. Or both. Both of you like cooking. So if you like cooking, they'll probably like cooking as well. So with the firefly and the fire ant, both of you are literally trying to find your purpose. Your purpose is in with you, within within yourself. And then once you find it within yourself, that's when you come together because it's very, very balanced. And both of you will be like, uh, yes, I'm vibing with you. I'm getting this kind of energy like this. We are both like vibing and it's very like, like, it's just fun. It just feels fun. Um, I feel like if you're a fire sign, you could manifest another fire sign. Fire signs normally go really well together anyway. Uh, it doesn't have to, you don't have to be a fire sign. It could be a water sign, earth, you know, air, whatever. I feel like some of you guys, I feel like you, I'm picking up that you work from your Libra energy. So a lot of you guys could be actually have physically have Libra in your chart or be more of the feminine. Um, but if not, I feel like some of you guys just are really working on balancing relationships and balancing that in your life. And therefore, if you're starting to balance out relationships or are more conscious of that balance, that is then going to help you with this relationship here. Because if you get into conflict, you're able to talk about it and not be passive or anything like that. You're able to really kind of like connect in with that energy. So your person is pretty fe feeling pretty overwhelmed right now. Your person has a lot on their plate and they can be quite overwhelmed by people. So they're probably very, very sensitive. And this person is definitely a leader. I feel like you both are leaders in different ways. So I feel like you are the more leader who is kind of steps back. And I feel like you, your person is more forward. So it just depends. If you feel like you're more forward, the other person could be more back or both of you could be really forward. It feels like a power couple. It feels like both of you have your passions and you're working together on said passions that you both have. And you're both like really supportive of each other. This person definitely has a lot going on, especially in work right now. Like this is very overwhelming. Like all these ants are like literally just climbing on top of each other and feeling like just really overwhelmed and like, okay, everyone go into this section. And it could just be very overwhelming because this person, I don't feel like this person has found their life purpose yet or they're trying to come out of an old cycle so they can find their purpose, whatever that is. It doesn't have to be career, but I feel like that is that energy. So definitely finding a light at the end of the tunnel. That is definitely what I'm feeling for this person and for you. So next card out, 11th house. I love this. So you're most likely going to find this person through a group or through some sort of interest that you both have. And it's going to be some sort of communication situation. Okay, a rhyme poet didn't know it. That's what my guides do sometimes. Like if I get like a rhyming situation, that is my guides being like, hey, Vicky, what's going on? <laughs> um... So we've got community, humanity, group, creativity, common goals, startups, experimentation in the future. So this person is definitely in your in your future in terms of the goals that you have. So if you have goals, they're most likely going to involve your person as well. Um, and I feel like this is going to be in about two months that some of you guys are actually going to manifest your person, which is so exciting. I'm so happy for you guys. Um, and we also have two, like, we have a couple here as well. And I feel like this, I mean, there's, like golden wings which is literally like the firefly energy in this card which is so cute and i feel like definitely you guys i feel like some of you guys you're really into astronomy and astrology and or this person's also going to be interested in that so that could be a group that you're part of it definitely feels like something to do with the the, the stars and planets so it could be a sign for you guys if you, i mean and also i mean in the princess and the frog this little fireflies looking up the stars and saying like that's my soulmate essentially so that's pretty much what you guys are doing and this person will most likely be able to find you through the stars i'm hearing in some way so it could be one of you gets a horoscope like you're gonna meet your person you're like no i ain't, ain't gonna happen and then boom you do <laughs> it's like okay she ain't lying <laughs> you know what i'm saying so next card out we have is blue lace agate find your calm 
So you guys could be feeling quite stressed out right now, quite intense, uh, things are feeling very intense. So as I say, your person might be going through quite a lot of intensity. You will probably be going through this as well because both of you kind of share the same energy. If I, I'm hearing both of you are finding each other, which is so cute. Like you're, you're in an intense energy right now because you're learning to withstand heat and kind of be in that heat. So you can, like, it's kind of like a kettle, I hear a kettle on a stove and it's going like really really high and the kettle is starting to boil and boil and boil and boil and boil until it's like it's like really really loud you can't ignore it so some of you guys are really learning to find the calm within that stress especially with people and work i feel like it's very very connected to that so you could be having quite a lot of arguments and things so i feel like you're really learning to just work with that and blue lace agates is to do the throat chakra and I suddenly felt really, really vulnerable in that moment. You could be working with feelings of vulnerability, guilty, things like that. And I'm going to tell you a couple of quotes I normally say in my readings, which is the first one is this Hawaiian quote. And it says, I'm sorry, please forgive me. Or um, I'm sorry, please forgive me. Thank you. And I love you. And also another one is I acknowledge part of me feeling whatever that feeling is. So guilty about whatever it's about. And I choose to let his feelings flow right now. You put your hands in your heart, breathe in breathe out and then you look kindly at yourself I look at my right shoulder I'm like hey and then you just kind of like look kindly at yourself like you would a puppy or a baby um whatever you find cute and that kind of helps you to move through the emotions because these emotions might feel foreign but actually probably because you possibly haven't worked on them for such a long time and this could be childhood energies that's coming out like it could be literally anything like that so it's probably going to feel very foreign to you but this is part of your future i'm hearing this is part of the process so you can get there and you also have the tear and this is very much to do with the blue lace agate energy it's very watery very um emotional and very it feels calm but it feels like it does feel like something you possibly could have gone through in the past that's possibly resurfacing just so you can release it as well and they're saying to me i don't know the answer but i know that you're going to get out of this and you're going to you are going to find your partner and all this is worth it so i don't know why i said i don't know the answer so maybe some of you guys might be saying that but you're definitely finding your core through this situation whatever you're going through right now and it could be definitely to do with your relationships and things but this this jewel here this tear is so precious like you may feel like very vulnerable crying and things like that and thinking crying isn't a good thing but actually crying is so amazing like it, it detoxifies your body it helps you release things and it creates movement and it's kind of like just your energy your your energy is being expressed outwardly and that's nothing to be scared of like expressing your emotions isn't something to be scared of and i feel like you're learning to communicate as well so possibly you may have been ha have a hard time kind of communicating what you need um because of this this is now attracting your person because you're learning to think like okay this is what i need and this is what your person's going to appreciate about you actually as well and they're saying the insecurities that you have about yourself your person's going to love them that's going to be like their first favorite thing and i'm, I'm seeing a, a man touching a girl's booty so <laughs> i mean obviously it doesn't it doesn't have to be that gender but that's just kind of what i was seeing um right so we have the knight of pentacles so this is going to be somebody who could be a earth sign a uh, taurus Virgo, capricorn this person is really trying to find their work like past like they're really trying to find that and they will they will find that and same for you guys if you're working with that right now and you are an earth sign especially both of you okay i'm seeing both of you are because we have the page of pentacles and the knight of pentacles you could really be connecting with horses as well as a sign i'm also picking up on ladybirds and foxes as well so definitely an element of um manifesting balance and we also have the lovers as well so this is justice so you're definitely learning to balance and this woman in this photo she's really happy like you know she's not scared of her shadow she's not scared of things that are really like stressing her out she's just kind of like yep yeah, i know that's me it's okay i got you girl i got you and we have the sun underneath so you're literally manifesting some really beautiful things that are going to come in for you and i see that through uh processing comes the present that's what I'm hearing. Come like the present, not like future and present. I'm talking like the present, like a gift, you know. Um, and we have the lovers here as well. So beautiful energy. Both of you are very, very similar. I feel like both of these two are kind of look slightly similar. So I feel like you're going to manifest somebody who just feels really, really calm with you. And uh, I just love this card. I think it's so natural and beautiful. So we have the Knight of Pentacles, the Magician, the Page of Pentacles. 
So really, really beautiful energy, absolutely stunning. Um, really finding your path through who you are and your creativity as well. I feel like some of you could be musicians or the person you're manifesting is a musician, most likely could be a Pisces as well. A lot of musicians are Pisces. I don't know why, but I've been like discovering that recently <laughs> or water signs, um, possibly because they're connected to their emotions. But you may have a little bit of a crossroads with this person because possibly out of insecurity, you may think this person is not the right one and you're like, okay, I don't know if this is the right one. But... I think it's, I think this person is definitely going to help you. And I think the balance in that justice card is you balancing out, okay, is this the right one? Is it, I, don't, I don't know. And um, that's what you're discovering with this person. They're saying, wear the crown because you deserve it. That's who you are. And this, this queen of cups has a crown on, like a watery crown. So I really love that. It's very, very beautiful. She's kind of like, hands up. I'm just going to chill. And that's what you're doing. I feel like the more you just relax into it, the better this person's going to come in. And now you're doing everything right. Like sometimes we think, oh, we're not manifesting the right way or we're not doing enough. It's just like, you're doing everything you can and that is enough, you know, that is definitely enough. And I feel like some of you guys, it could have made you cry. So if you're crying right now, just let it out, girl, let it out. <laughs> All right, so, okay, you guys have beautiful, you have beautiful crystal cards. Okay, so the first one out is Chai so like past loved ones. So some of you guys, you could have a loved one who possibly may have passed away. It could have been a previous relationship, somebody who passed away and sending my love to you. I'm also getting the number five, number 555, so it could be a very strong message to you and 666-777 and 111. And also 000 as well. And I'm also hearing like a rocket launch, like three, two, one, lift off, you know? Um, that is kind of that spacey energy that I was picking up on, the astrology, astronomy energy. And so I feel like your loved ones are there in spirit as well. If you haven't had someone pass away, your your generational spirits will be there. So your great great aunt, your great great grandma, you know, whoever is in spirit right now, I feel like they're really supporting you. And they're saying like, we got you, we got you. You know, if some of you guys, you could have a grandpa or a granddad or a grandma in spirit who's, who's very close to you. They're definitely one of your spirit guides. And also I feel like some of you guys could have had a dog in spirit as well. And that could be your... Uh, that could be your kind of your little soulmate as well, which I think is really cute. They could have been one of your soulmates. Because um, obviously we can find soulmates within anyone, any, any soul, you know. So it doesn't have to be a relationship. It can be a friendship, a family member, even like an animal, you know. We, that could be our soulmate. It makes me very emotional. I love this. So cute. Oh my God. Okay, so next card's out. I love these two. I'm just, yes, yes. We have Rose Quartz, love. And then we also have Jade which is uh, good luck heart chakra, both of the heart chakra. You guys are ready, like look how similar these are. That is your person, that is you, okay? Both of you are freaking ready, ready. I'm sensing this person might have a red car, like a really bright red car, kind of like Iron Man colors. So don't you know, if you don't know who Iron Man is, look up Iron Man and look how bright, really red the, sh the suit is. It's like, it's a gorgeous red, like a metallic, sexy red. <laughs> All right, so let's get some dice and let's see what wants to come out for you guys. We have the sixth house, the moon in Gemini. So I feel like for you guys, the well, the sixth house is to do with daily routines. It's to do with uh, service. It's to do with anything that's kind of like, you know, daily, you know, career, work, daily routines. With you guys, the moon in Gemini, this person could have moon in Gemini, but also with the moon in Gemini, this person is going to be very communicative. I feel like this person is very connected to their emotions. They can be a little bit uh, kind of judgmental on their emotions, but you know, can't we all? And this sixth house shows me that you're most likely going to meet them in a daily routine. So it could be with this 11th house as well. It could mean that you meet this person through like a daily routine, like you go to a club every week, you go to the gym every day, that sort of thing. And that's how you meet them. And the moon showing me that this person is very intuitive. This person's going to love your intuition and this person's going to love your spiritual side and every single part of you, whether it's mental, spiritual, which is all the levels, every single level about a level about you. I feel this person's going to really like your eyes as well and they're going to really, really like your skin and just everything about you. They're just going to completely be immersed in it. They're very tactile as well, like very, very tactile. So I feel like both of you are just going to have a very strong soulmate connection like it's going to go past the physical even past the spiritual like it's literally that big I feel like this is just an intense connection that needs to happen and it's going to happen and for some of you guys you may have already found your person this could be the person that I've described and you're like I already am with them or 
you know, like I already knew them, but maybe it didn't work out. I feel like some of you guys, you could be having a reunion as well if there's somebody who you really connect with. I'm also sensitive for some of you guys that you might be connected to somebody in a city. I'm hearing Milan as well, Paris, I'm hearing Germany, I'm hearing UK, I'm hearing London. I'm literally getting like so many different countries. So I'm feeling more European sides. This person could be European. I feel like you have like a lot of water in their chart. I and mean, I'm hearing the name David. That's very random, but that's kind of what I was picking up on. And the sun as well. I mean, we had a lot of fire in this reading too. Thank you so much for watching guys. If this resonated with you, let me know. If you want to subscribe and you haven't already, please do click the button down below. I also have my private reading rates and my shop down below as well. So if you want to check that out, please do. Thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you very soon, much love. Bye bye. Hello, group number four. Thank you so much for being here. Let's have a look at your soulmate, get you some love advice. Let's see what's going on with you right now. Okay, so for you guys, we have the snake. So this is your energy. This could be your energy, could be the other person. I'm gonna get another animal card as well. So whichever energy you resonate with more. So the snake energy, I mean, it is pretty self-explanatory. You could be feeling like you're kind of shedding your old skin. I feel like for some of you guys, you're definitely um, embracing the feminine side of you. Um, the more sensual, kind of uh, emotional, heartfelt side. And it could be feeling quite vulnerable right now. You could be feeling quite tearful, quite sad, quite angry, you know, all those emotions. And I feel like you're just learning to express them very, very healthily. And I feel like some of you guys could have a counsellor as well. And I feel like it could be really good for you guys. Um, I absolutely love this flower of life that we've got going on here i mean this is showing me that for you guys you could be meeting somebody who you have babies with who you have children with who you have a family with and it just is so expressive but i feel like you're holding on tight to it so it's learning to express that creativity and learning to just be vulnerable within your emotions you know because we do have trouble with that and we're not taught that at school it's not in the curriculum you know so i feel like for you guys it's it's understanding that that is normal and it's normal to feel things and i thought you're you're learning to kind of open up about that and not be so tightly held to what your emotions are okay so i'm sorry if the orientation has changed slightly i had to change my battery so the next card out we have is the b oh my god i love this the completely opposite energy i feel so this is your person the b is your person so this is you this is them and as i say swap them around if you feel like whichever one resonates with you guys so I feel like the snake is the earth energy and the bee is the air. So pretty much opposite energies anyway. I feel like your person is, okay, so this is what I'm picking up on. I feel like you are more of like a scorpionic energy or you're going through a very intense time. The other person is more to do with lighter energy, very like happy-go-lucky kind of chill energy. And this person will bring you out of that kind of like negative thinking or kind of one way black and white thinking i feel like this person is going to probably make you a little bit uncomfortable in that way because it's kind of like i've always thought this way this this is normal and i think it's going to really create some tension but i think it's going to be a really beautiful growing stage for you and you're learning that life isn't that bad you know sometimes it can feel very very intense this person's going to draw you out of that especially if you're a fixed sign it can be very very difficult and i'm not because i am one so with the B energy, you, this person's definitely trying to find you. It feels like you're the, the, you're the flower and they're trying to find you. Um, <clears throat> so I feel like this person is definitely ready for a partnership. I feel like they're very, very light. I feel that like they've shedded a lot of energy. So you could have already shedded your energy too that no longer serves you or you could just be in the middle of this. But it feels like this person is in a much lighter place. And you're in a bit of an intense energy right now, which is totally fine. It could be that you're you're now moving on from that. As, as I say, just take it as it resonates, guys. But it feels like that circular energy where it's like things are coming back round. So if you've had quite a hard time in your love life and things just really haven't worked out for you, that's going to change. That's definitely going to change for you guys. And there's definitely going to be an ease of energy as well. Like things are going to start shifting for you in your love life. It's going to feel like things aren't being forced like don't ever force a relationship guys like that's not good you know so okay we have chiron healing like that makes a lot of sense and we also have north node destiny so through this healing is how you're going to meet your person so all this healing isn't for nothing this is meant to happen this is absolutely meant to happen okay so it feels like i'm connecting to this uh planet here and then it's like drawing me into this balloon so it's like you're going into this dark place going very internal very kind of like earthy and then you're starting to grow outwards and you're starting to like open up. So this could be to do with the um, 
just kind of all the stuff that's going on worldwide as well. It could mean that you're very internal. It could mean that you're kind of shifting consciousness a lot of the time, especially when we're, we're realizing a lot of stuff about what's going on and uh, we're getting revealed things. So that could also be part of your healing journey, but your destiny is most likely to help people heal as well in various different ways. It doesn't have to be an actual career. It could mean that your personality helps people heal as well. It could mean that it helps them to understand what they need going on or what they need to shift. And I feel like that's very, very important. I feel like your person could also do this as well. Um, but it could be that your person's going through intensity and you're going through more of like a positive time. I'd say, take it as it resonates. So the next crystal, I'm really focusing on the crystal of pyrite as well. And pyrite is very much to do with financial gain. It's really, really good for finances. It's so good for grounding. So pyrites are going to be a very good crystal for you, especially if you're going through a lot of intensity or if you're feeling very scattered, this is a very good energy to kind of help you ground. So next card is rhodochrosite. Remember your worth. Definitely a strong energy for you guys. Remembering your worth, remembering what you're worth and not like just, this is what I'm feeling with the forcing energy. I feel like some of you guys may have forced your relationships and that's totally fine guys. We, we do what we need to do. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. But I definitely feel like you're learning your worth. You're knowing that your time is very precious and that you're, you're, people are starting to respect you because of that, you know, or disrespect you. And maybe you're starting to realise, actually, I'm not going to be treated like this anymore. I feel like some of you guys have dual custody of a dog. For some reason, I'm picking up on that. So just I'm picking up on that randomly. I don't know what that's about, but it feels like you're trying to sort out the dual custody of this dog where you may have an old relationship that you have with somebody who has a dog and you may have like be able to sort that out very soon if you're kind of having trouble with that you're sorting that out could even be with children as well but i'm picking up more on an animal and it feels like maybe you're gonna have more of the animal oh and they're not sort of thing you're gonna have the animal and they're not but yeah i feel like for you guys definitely remembering your worth this is going to come this is going to help you manifest your relationship this is going to help you manifest your person it's remembering who you are and knowing that your time is exactly as precious as somebody else and that things that you've learned are not a waste and I feel like your language is changing as well so maybe some of you guys are learning a new language or your person's going to have a completely opposite language but you're going to understand them because you obviously may learn the language or something like that um but it feels like this person's very exotic I'm picking up very exotic so they're going to have lots of different like experiences with different countries different like worldly adventures I just pick up exotic so whatever that means to you I definitely feel like this person is just yeah, just really interesting. They're very fascinating. They have lots of facets to them. And you're like, wow, this person's attractive and also sexy and also just so, so, so damn interesting. <laughs> um, I feel like some of you guys, your person's actually working on an album right now. So some of you guys, this person could be a musician or a, like a skater or something. They do like sports or something in, they're quite, they're, some of you guys, they're quite famous as well. So not, I feel like obviously it's going to be the right person though. So it's not going to be anything superficial in terms of fame, like their fame is something that's very normal you know it's not going to be pushed in your face or anything it's going to be very kind of normal part of the relationship you could be quite famous as well or well known so we have the cave and we have the storm and the storm actually has like eyes i think it's an eye and a hand so it's like things are very scattered at the moment you're you're learning okay probably you're learning more about your body as well and how you know it works for you what feels good for you but some of you guys, you could have been going through quite an intense time and you're learning to just kind of figure out, okay, what's my next move? But I mean, we have hands and we have these eyes that's kind of staring. So it feels like you're really learning to just see through what's going on, especially maybe worldwide or maybe just in your own life. But this has kind of caused you to feel a little bit angry as well, I feel. So just let that come out. It's definitely a lot of eye, sim eye symbolism here. So could be to do your third eye, could be to do just seeing things clearly, could be quite tearful. It's definitely that you're working through a lot of energy and your person is at the crack of this energy. So when this starts to crack open and you're feeling a lot of intensity that you don't want to feel, that is because you're getting ready for your partner. So there's a quote that says something like, um, what if everything you're going through is leading you to what you asked for? And I thought that's a really good quote. <laughs> that's a great quote because I feel like Sometimes we can be in things and think, okay, why the F is this happening? Like, that doesn't make any sense. But actually, when you get to the, that place, you're like, oh, I get it. I get it. I take it back. <laughs> you know? So, yeah. And, and sometimes the present moment isn't all that great. But actually, it can lead us to where we're meant to be going. And I keep picking up on paintbrushes and, like, working in an art shop. So, some of you guys, that could be a very strong message. Um, but it's definitely coming out of your cave into the storm. So, it could be you're scared... It could be you're scared of actually working on your emotions, which isn't a bad thing, guys. I feel like I feel like you're definitely learning to work on your emotions and that's okay. Just just keep going. You're doing a really, really good job. Everything is meant to happen. Okay, everything is meant to happen. So let's get you some tarot. 
to see what's coming out for you guys. Okay, first card out. This is literally my fame card. We have the six of wands. So you will find, I feel like you'll find love through fame. So for some of you guys, you could actually, okay, this is really random. For some of you guys, I'm picking up that you might actually find someone through selling something. And um, this person maybe picks up that thing and then you bond, you know, something like that. Yeah, it feels really interesting, guys. Very interesting. Very, very random, but really interesting. Next card we have out is the Seven of Cups and the Queen of Cups. One of the other groups had this combination as well. I can't remember which group it was, but one of you guys had that in one of the groups. And I feel like the singing bowls are really drawing me in because I do have my my singing bowl here, which is what I used at the start of the video. And it feels like you're learning to just express yourself and could be expressing yourself through music. And you're learning that everything that you've, you've, you're working on is relevant and that keep filling up your own cup. And this is definitely a, a journey of self-discovery, but also you're gonna find your person and I feel like your person's very, very, they have a very intense stare, but like they mean well, you know, like when you look at them, you're like, oh my God, this person's intense. But actually when you get to know them, you're like, they're, they're cool dude, they're a cool dude. So they could have Capricorn rising or something like that. Cause I feel like they, normally Capricorn risings have this kind of like really cool vibe or like a Scorpio rising somebody who just kind of looks like they're modeling all the time <laughs> kind of looks like they're like posing or something it definitely feels like this person is just yeah very very beautiful and whenever i get this king of swords card i mean it has a raven or a crow i think it's a raven and it has a dragonfly a bat and an owl on it and i always think of those as omens so look out for those animals as well it doesn't have to be like actually physically but i feel like birds and feathers and things and i'm also hearing birds of a feather flock together as well so this person you, it's like inevitable that you're going to meet because you are who you are and they're who they are so both of you are going to like come together and meet as just this beautiful energy and both of you are just going to be really 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 like it's just amazing it's just amazing guys and i'm hearing you're not going to be lonely anymore as well for some of you guys so if you're feeling a little bit down or just upset you're gonna be fine okay we also have the three of pentacles so your person's going to help you work on whatever you are needing to work on they're going to help you sustain whatever you need to sustain so it could be help with your mental health it could be physically whatever your love language is they will provide okay okay i love this carnelian self-confidence root and sacral chakra you guys are definitely working on self-confidence and carnelian is a very strong aries crystal so if you guys are an aries that's just extra clarification and coming clear with your boundaries, this person's also working on the same thing, but in a slightly different way, I feel. Both of you are discovering self-confidence in different ways, and but I feel like you guys will definitely be able to resonate with each other. We have Moonstone, we have this in another group as well, and I sell these Moonstone uh, necklaces on my shop. I feel like for you guys, this Moonstone is just very, very, it is about empowerment, especially with uh, if you're a female, or you resonate as more of a feminine. This person is going to resonate with that feminine energy. I feel like I'm getting for some of you guys just open your heart and learn to open your heart. And obviously this takes time. Like I'm not saying I'll oh, open your heart tomorrow, you know, like that's scary. I feel like you guys are definitely becoming clearer with what it is that you need to do moving forward. And I feel the best advice I can say to you is meditate, okay? And if it's not meditation, just doing things that make you feel good, like eating some good food, um, doing some coloring, doing some drawing, doing some journaling. I'm hearing dream journals for you guys as well. And some of you guys are think, okay, this is a very intense message. Some of you guys actually are dreaming about each other, which is really cool. I love that. Like you will know who this person is and you might actually recognize them from your dreams. And um, some of you guys I'm actually hearing you might be dreaming about your home. And that is a sign that this person's coming in because you're starting to build the home within within you and therefore that is your you're housing this extra energy, which is so cool. I love that. And some of you guys you could be pregnant as well. So that that housing the extra energy that is that pregnancy energy as well empress energy we have meditation and self-confidence so it's like it's clear what is coming up i'm feeling it's like you're starting to understand why things are starting to come up emotionally or why things have happened in the past and you're starting to realize actually that was meant to happen and i'm not crazy <laughs> you know some of you guys are like i'm crazy you know like why do i keep getting these intuitive messages why do i feel like i'm talking to myself guys you are not crazy all those messages are for a reason and if you feel like they don't resonate Trust me, I've been there. You know, like I've had readings where it's like, okay, this is never going to resonate, it's never going to resonate, and it does. And some of the messages can be very kind of almost far-fetched or kind of like confusing. But when you actually explain it and talk to somebody, most of the time they really, really resonate. And most of the time spirit comes to you in pictures or uh, messages or omens like animals and things like that. So just take it as it resonates, guys. And 
you know, you have everything you have inside of you. You were born this way for a reason and you are here to give that to this world. So I'm going to um, roll again. All right, so we have Leo, eighth house, and the moon. So, okay, this is really intense energy. This person is very, very essential mostly. And I feel like this person definitely helps people to express themselves. So this could be you as well. I feel like this person could be like a... I'm hearing an acting coach, um, counsellor, somebody who gives self-confidence to other people, uh, just even through their energy, doesn't have to be career-wise, but the eighth house is to do with intimacy, it's sensual energy, it's to do with um, transformation, it's the house of Scorpio, but we have Leo here, so Leo in this energy brings stuff to light, it's, it's drawing a light on things that we don't want to look at, but actually it's in a really beautiful way because it's basically saying, get creative, this will be a really good way of expressing that energy. And when the more you creative you creative you are, the more you're just expelling that energy that needs to come out. And it's very healthy as well. It's a very healthy way of channeling that sensual energy because sensual energy and creativity are the same thing. And this moon energy, actually kind of like the moon, kind of reminds me of the Rhodochrosite. I mean, the Rhodochrosite looks like a little bit of a, a wonky moon, but I feel like this is definitely that energy of the moon. It's like really coming into understanding the, those emotional parts of you. And I feel like it kind of looks like a side of a face as well with like the nose shape. It kind of looks like that as well. It kind of reminds me of those Indian, uh, Native American Indian heads where it's like, I don't know what they are, but I don't know what they're called, but I feel like that's, that's prominent as well, like the big headdresses. The moon is really connecting you to your self-worth and it could be your moon sign is really being kicked into high gear right now, possibly because of all the energies, but it's worth it guys. And you are definitely going through a very big transformation. So listen to your guides, listen to listen to, you know, readings and things, because, you know, I feel like if something really resonates with you, really, like, pick up on that and possibly take that advice, because I think, I, I think you need, like, coddling around your moon sign as well, like, whatever moon sign you have, I feel like whatever that is that helps you express that part of you is really, really good, so whether it's, like, Cancerian or Scorpio moon, where it's, like, you need safety, or whether it's, like, an air sign moon, and you need, like, creativity or writing or something, it's, like, Whatever it is that you need to express yourself, that is the best way of channeling and channeling your own energy. And I feel like some of you guys could be like scrying. I get confused between scrying and scripting. It's like you are like channeling your writing, like your ch channel writing. And I don't know what it's called. I can't remember what it's called. Like off the top of my head, I can't remember. But when you're writing and you're channeling, something like that. So I feel like that could be a really good way of kind of getting things out. And also talk to people, guys. If you're feeling overwhelmed, definitely, definitely talk to people. But this person is just so great. I feel like your person's very intelligent. I think they're very, very sensual. They're very passionate. They're very creative. And they just, they want you. <laughs> they want you very much. And I feel like number 10 is very important. Like, I feel like you could meet this person when you, like, 10 years of something. So maybe 10 years of, like, a certain job. Or when you're, like, completing a cycle, that's 10. And maybe it could be your door number. It could also be the 10th month or the 10th day as well of something. 10th week. Something like that. I feel like I'm picking up on anniversaries of some sort. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like this reading, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe. If you'd like a private reading, all my information is down below. My rates change, so just message me or email me if you want to get in touch about a private reading. And also I do crystal recommendation jewellery and I do crystals on my crystal shop, which is down below. So thank you so much for being here. I love you guys and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.